Hey, what's happening, everybody? Welcome to HD Piano. My name is Dan, and in this lesson, I'll teach you how to play Sailing by Christopher Cross. We'll take a look at the intro and the verse in this first video. Sounds like this. of this lesson can be found at hdpiano.com if you're not already there. I've got a question. It's about uh, the genre under which sailing has been classified. Uh, it came out in 1980, major hit, and it almost, uh, I guess it did, it created its own genre, and they're calling it Yacht Rock. So my question for you guys is, what are some other songs you think might fit well under the genre Yacht Rock? Comment below. So, we're going to kick off this song above middle C. This is middle C. We're going to kick it off uh, emulating some strings. Uh, there's no piano up front. Really, there's no piano until the solo. And we'll get to that in another video. But um, this is a string part we're going to be copying. So it's D, A, B in the left, A in the right. And then the left changes to an E major triad. Then we shift our chord to E over G sharp. We have G sharp E in the left, B E in the right. And then an F sharp minor over A. We have A, C sharp, F sharp in the left, A in the right. And then a D chord, D power chord. D, A in the left, A in the right. And then from there, we play these three lush chords. B minor 7, F sharp minor 7, and C sharp minor 7. So B and F sharp, and then A, D, F sharp, and then octave F sharps, A, C sharp, E, and then C sharp, G sharp, B, E, G sharp. So let's go over these string pads again. And our final pad collides with our verse part. And by that I mean there's some overlap. So this is our final pad. It's a D major triad in the left and a D add two in the right, D, E, A. And uh, what happens here is we're gonna, we, we, we'd like to hear this. It's almost as if it's just emerging from that string, uh, that orchestra, right? So when the moment we hit this, we start that. It's kind of an ostinato, which means this flowing part. Um, okay, so keep that in mind. And then the part that's overlapping is the actual verse part. And although there are no lyrics, no vocals at this point, um, it's the same, it's identical, so we'll be able to uh, simply clone it when the vocals do come in uh, and for every uh, subsequent verse. All right, so here's our final pad. That's the motion I'd like to see. A seamless uh, passing of the baton. One more time. Okay. So that's how we're going to get out from the string part into the... Uh, it's actually, I think, maybe a guitar at this point. Uh, the end of the guitar part. So here is the verse, um, and this is what we, we're transitioning into. So 
let's take a look at just the right hand. We're playing A, G sharp, D, and then A. And then every two times we alternate, we move that G sharp to an F sharp in the, in the series. Again. Okay, so that gets us through a few measures. And then after that, that's our next series. So it's A, G sharp, E, and then the A moves to uh, a B, and the G sharp moves to an A. So we have this shape and this shape. That's why I like to think of them as chord shapes, chord chunks, right? And then from there, we have these two chord shapes, E chord and A over E chord. And we do that four times. Everything I've just played amounts to the verse. Let's go over it one more time slowly. One, two, ready, and. New chord. New chord. is the verse. Let's add the left hand so we can have some more harmonic context. So this is the tendency, uh, the, kind of the formula that the left hand uses. It holds for the first measure. And in the second measure, it sort of plays this anticipating uh, syncopated offbeat. So it's one, two, three, four, one, two, three, uh, like that. Feel that? See exactly how the left hand is sort of um, preparing us to change chords uh, rhythmically. So uh, let's go back to the beginning. We're on this D, and then A, and then back to D, passing through E on our way to F sharp, and then C sharp, back through E, and then D. A, D, D, A, E, A, C sharp. So it follows this very strict rhythmic template. It doesn't change. Uh, the notes do, obviously, but uh, once you've got the rhythm down, I think you'll be able to make those chord changes. So let's try the verse, whole thing, the whole verse, very slowly. And this is, again, where the vocal comes in. Well, it's not far down the never It's not far down the paradise At least it's not for me And if the wind invites you can sail away A fine tranquility day Oh, the canvas can do miracles Just you wait and see Believe me Right? So you can see how that fits perfectly under the vocal. So here it is, the verse, very slowly. And ready, and verse. So that's our verse. The only variation we have is right after the chorus, the first chorus, um, our, I guess you could say our third verse, um, lyrics are fantasy, right? Fantasy, 
It gets the best. You'll notice we're starting here. We're not starting here. Okay, so verse 3, the first half is a little different. Uh, and This is it right here. I'll play it. It borrows almost verbatim from other parts in the verse. Here's verse 3. When I'm sailing All caught up in the reverie And by that point, we're actually back to the true verse form. So it's just that first half of verse 3 that differs. Um, all right, what I'd like to do is play the intro and then maybe through verse 1 and we'll s see how it goes. At recorded speed. Intro, string pads. Ready, and... Alright guys, thanks for joining me on part one. The rest is at hdpiano.com. If you are on YouTube, give us some love, thumbs up, comment, subscribe. Go find us on social media. Drop your requests to requests.hdpiano.com. And I'll see you there, the home of the hybrid piano lesson. I'm Dan. <laughs>